November 11th. We're coming to you from the Sheridan Center in downtown Montreal. You're watching Fashion Tech Friday. I'm your host, Amanda Costco, and here's what you need to know this week in Fashion Tech. Artist Will I Am has deepened his relationship with wearables by releasing a pair of stylish headphones. According to the New York Times, the product is called I Am Plus Buttons, a pair of Bluetooth headphones with magnetic metal backings that, when in the ear, look like a cross between earplugs and vinyl records. When not in use, the discs connect via the magnets to form a necklace of sorts. Will I Am is the founder of I Am Plus, a wearable tech company that wants to introduce stylish wearables for the masses. Buttons are being produced in the four colors that match the iPhone 7, but will also work with Android products. The earphones will have a battery life of 6 to 8 hours and are available for purchase in the Apple Store for a cool $229.95. Next up, graphic artist Emma Shipley has introduced a new augmented reality application for trying on her line of luxury scarves. The designer, known for her magical and fantastical illustrations, has teamed up with the London College of Fashion's Innovation Agency and interactive platform Meshmerize to create Scarfy. Scarfy is an app that enables customers to use their mobile phone as a virtual try-on experience. Users are able to take a Scarfy selfie with the product to share with friends, as well as to make purchases directly from the app. Rather than doing a final story today, we're going to take this time to look at the women who went to the polls to support Hillary Clinton. While Clinton was criticized throughout her campaign for virtually everything, including her pantsuit, the jacket and trouser combo became a symbolic uniform of sorts for Election Day. Images of Pantsuit Nation were captured and shared on social media, uniting women who dare to dream that for the first time in history, they'd have representation in the White House. And while the results of this election were heartbreaking for many, not just women, a new generation has been galvanized to fashion a powerful identity for themselves. She may not have won the election, but Pantsuit Nation will certainly live on. That's it for today's episode. Thanks so much for tuning in.